There's problem 19 from section 4.2. Um, let's take a look at the derivative of this function. And it's an exponential function. So repeat. Do we have an exponential log in here? No, because it's our special exponential function that has uh, e as the base. And do we have a chain rule? Yes. Yes. All right. So this cleans up as 2 times e to the 2x. One of the really great, one of the really great uh, attributes of the exponential function to the, of the e is that this is always positive. The e function looks like this. All right? And it's never zero, it's never negative. So f prime of x is always positive, always greater than zero. What does that mean to us? Well, how about we use our shorthand again? Because f prime of x is always positive, comma, that means f is Increasing where? Always. Everywhere. 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 On the interval from negative infinity to positive infinity. Yep. Where is it decreasing? Nowhere. Nowhere. There we go. You are awesome. <coughs> Elijah. Uh, I'm, I'm, isn't there a vertical asymptote at 1? So would it just be negative infinity to 1? <laughs> a vertical asymptote at x equal 1? Um, no, no, so like here is one, here would be e, one comma e squared, and it keeps on going. No, it keeps on getting more and more vertical, but the, the exponential function is defined everywhere. There's no place where it actually turns perfectly vertical. It gets more and more vertical as time goes on, or as x gets bigger. But it's never, it never has asymptotic behavior towards any particular vertical line. All right, and that's number 19.